Hello friends, today I will show you how to create a chart in MS Excel. So before creating a chart, let me design one format for using in that particular chart. So let me think that uh, I have three years that is 2017, 18 and 19. On the basis of this years, I'll be having one three items and then in that three items, I'll prepare a chart and then I'll, I'll even find out the highest sales and then the lowest sales in each year. So let me start. Let's say sales record. And I have here items that is rise with which which with and then match. So these are my items. On these items, I'll be having a year, year 2017, year 2018, sorry, and then year 2019. So these three years I'll compare, and then I'll find out maximum and minimum in the chart. So let me maximize it the font size when you are maximize it the font size font size format out of it column width and march okay yes this one and then I'll give you a different color. Here will be different color. Let me do some styles. So these are my three years, and these are my items: rice, mage, and wheat. Rice, wheat, and then mage. So this, in the on the basis of these three items, I'll be comparing, and I'll find out the chart. Let's assume that in the year two zero one seven. The sales of the rice is 80,000 and similarly for the year 2018 is 50,000 and then in the year 2019 let's say 90,000 and in wheat 2017 52,000, 56,000 and then 80,000 and mage 45,000 in the year 2017 in the year 2018, 80,000 and then in the year 2019, 12,000. So I already enter the figure also. After entering the figure, let me uh, give here color to look more attractive. So even you can design in your own way. Yes, I finished to color it. So how to enter how to insert a chart so for inserting the chart you have to select all the items and the year so i have already selected i will go to the insert tab and from the chart groups you can see a different different charts column charts line charts pie charts and then bar charts area charts scatter charts and other charts so these cases I will show you by using column chart. So you can use as per your requirements even you can give pie chart also even you can give line chart even you can try for the column chart as well. So I will go with the column chart and style I can give here 2D column chart. So once I click here automatically my chart will be displayed in the worksheet. So click on this see the chart is displayed here. It is easily showing you here the sales figure so the blue color indicate for the rice and then maroon for the wheat and then green for the match so in the year 2017 these are the sales figure you can easily see from 0 to 1 lakh and then for year 2018 this this is the sales figure and then year 2019 this is the sales figure the highest sales the highest sales is in the year 2019 that is for the rice 
exactly it is 9 it is uh, touching the 90,000 so rise in the year 2000 and let me check let me verify it by looking the table yes rise in the year 2019 90 90,000 90, uh, 90, yes rise in the year 2019 90,000 yes it is correct and the lowest the minimum sales is also in the year 2019 that is mage let's say 12,000 yes the 12,000 is in mage it's indicate here so green color is in mage so you can easily check it out this way the highest and then the lowest sales of the year easily by implementing a chart chart process in ms excel so hope so friends you are very clear with this you can apply different different charts also as well this time i have shown you by using the column charts you can even apply for pie chart also similar process and let me even show you how to save this excel worksheet so you have to go to the file tab going in the file tab click on save us because you are saving very first time so if you are saving a very first time so you have to click on save us so I'll go to the folder. I'll make one folder. I'll rename that folder as chart. Chart folder. So inside this chart folder, I am going to save here. See my locations of the saved file is this PC documents chart and inside the chart there will be file name. You can give a file name as for your convenient way. At this time I'll give here a sales record. yes click on save my workbook is saved so after i saved let me also show you how to protect this workbook in order to access from unauthorization user so in some cases what we what we what we need is like we have to protect our worksheet also whatever we have stored inside whatever we have uh, the format or like the sales record or whatever things so let me protect it by applying a password so how to apply the password it is very simple similar process like how i save go to file little bit we need to change go to file info from the info tab you have to click on workbook and here you'll see one option called encrypt with password so if i click with encrypt with password you can give your own password let's say example you can give it one two three as your password and rename or re-enter it again one two three in this cases i have given one two three as password so i already set a password for this after setting a password i have to go and save it why i don't go to the save us because save us is the initial process of saving a file and save is what like whenever we update any of our file like edit or like something we have changes okay inside the file then you have to go and save it this time i have uh, apply a password so therefore i have to go to the save save option so i'll save it yes it is exactly safe now i'll i'll verify it whether this document is password protected or not so let me close this one and again i'll open it so from there i'll come to know whether it is password protected or not i'll go to the file location where i have saved my file from the documents I'll go to the chart and from here I'll find it out sales record I'll open the sales record while I open the sales record it will ask me a password so yes it is asking me the password so I have to enter the password which I have given one two three is my password so I'll enter it so yes it is opening so friends this way you can easily protect your workbook also from the unauthorization user and also you can insert a chart from this process so thank you so much hope so you like it please subscribe my channel for the latest videos updates thank you so much for the watching